Hi friends, Kelsey Bang here. Today I am super excited because I am going to take you through all of our tips and tricks for road tripping with toddlers. With our two baby girl twins, we have done about eight 12 hour road trips with them and it has always been a fun time but we've learned a lot of things along the way and I was getting a lot of questions on how we do road trips with our twins so I thought I would do a little video and share all of our tips and tricks as we're preparing for another road trip and take you along the adventure with us. Something I like to do is I like to pack two days in advance. I like to start getting our laundry so that's what I'm doing right now as I'm doing laundry. I like to do all of that to make sure that we have all of our favorites and all of our clean clothes ready to go. So to help pack, one thing I like to do is call wherever we're going and get all of the information that I need to help us pack. For instance, if, I'm, if we're gonna go stay at a hotel, I'd like to know, do you have pack and plays available? Do you have two pack and plays available? Because we have twins, that kind of changes things. So if they have one available, then I know I just need to pack one. And those kind of things, if we're staying for an extended period of time, I bring laundry detergent and all of that kind of stuff. We're currently at my mom's house, but I still brought all of my laundry detergent and all of that kind of stuff. So it's nice to know what you're gonna be heading into to help you pack. Another thing that I do when we pack is I do all of our family's clothes in one suitcase. If we're leaving out of town for three weeks, if we're leaving out of town for one week, I still like to pack everyone's stuff in one suitcase. Another option is using those little packing cubes. I've used those before and they're super awesome. And then those are great because then you have everyone's stuff just in one spot. We left out of town for three weeks, so I needed every square inch of space in our suitcase. So something I did was just fold everything up nicely and put it in the suitcase. So that's something that we like to do is just put everyone's luggage in one suitcase and it makes it so much easier. And then that way when you get to your destination, most hotels, most places all have drawers, then you can put everyone's stuff and each person gets a drawer and it just makes it easier. For toiletries, sound machines, walkie talkies, all of that kind of stuff, we do a last minute bag. We just grab a large tote bag and, oh, here's our cute dog that likes to travel with us too. I forgot to mention, we also travel with our giant dog. <laughs> I'll share some tips and stuff with him as well. But this is not gonna be all of your last minute items, anything that you need up until the morning of. So toothbrushes, makeup, toiletries, yeah, sound machines, anything like that. For the road trip, I like to do a diaper caddy. <laughs> this has all of our needs in it that are super easy to use. So diaper changes on a road trip are a little interesting. You will find that not all gas stations have diaper changing stations in all the bathrooms. And with two babies, my husband helps out a ton and he's also changing a lot of diapers and there's not always diaper changes in the men's stalls. We just found it's easier to change diapers on the front seat of the car. We just put down our little mat and we change diapers that way and it makes it so much easier. I also really like to have these. These are these little Arm & Hammer bags. I'll link to everything that I can below. But these bags are the best when traveling because if there's poopy diaper or someone throws up or anything like that, it's really nice to have these to put the clothes in so they don't smell. It's also nice to be able to put poopy diapers and stuff like that in. But it's great because if you're just changing diapers at gas stations, you can just throw the diapers right in the trash at the gas stations, which makes it really easy. We just leave this caddy right on the floor of the front seat so we have it available for whenever we need it. We also, before we drive away, we delegate who is in charge of what on our road trip. And some things you can't anticipate before, but something we do is like, I love driving and Jake is really good and doesn't get car sick in the car. So he stays with the girls the whole time. So he feeds the girls. He does all of that stuff with the girls and he is amazing. Keeps them entertained and all of that. For entertainment, something that we do is I clear out the diaper bag 
This is my favorite diaper bag style, by the way. I've tried so many different ones, but this backpack style is super awesome and convenient. But I love it because the entire top will zip off and I can keep all of our supplies and stuff in here. And then inside is where I just keep all of our toys and things like that for road trips. Thought I would share, since we're here, a couple of my girls' favorite things that they love to play with in the car. They like any kind of little things that have different textures. This little buckle toy is the best thing ever. A friend recommended this and it has been such a lifesaver. My girls love it and they will spend a good 30, 40 minutes just playing with the buckles and they really like it. They are, girls also really like small books. These are always fun to look at. I had some just little games. I had this Yahtzee game and R2D2 bop it. I mean, they play with these like crazy and love them. They love little wood blocks that, you know, change and move. Just anything that's really little and fun. Oh, little finger puppets. Those are always a great time. This book, Unicorn Tales, they have this in dogs and jungle animals and all different kinds of animals, but it's a crinkle book and has lots of different things on it. My girls love this book. One thing that they really like is this electric little keyboard. My sister got this for the girls for their birthday and it's fun. They just trade off with it and have so much fun. I always bring their favorite books and that's about it though for all the toys that I bring. I'm I'm really surprised at how well kids can do in the car when they're in there. And so I think you will be amazed when you go on a road trip and be like, oh, okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And I that's one thing I found with road trips is in my head, it seems like so much more than it's actually going to be. So I would just recommend packing up and get everything ready to go and going for it. When you're packing as well for road trips, something to think about is how long you're gonna be gone. A couple different things that you can do is pack all of your food and diapers and wipes and plan in advance and bring those all with you. Or you can order things to your hotel room. Like if you go to Disney World type of thing, they have grocery delivery options. You can order diapers and all that kind of stuff so you don't have to pack it with you and it can be there waiting at your hotel room for you. When we go to like my mom's house or something like that, We've just always brought all of our diapers with us. This trip, we brought just enough diapers for a few days and bought diapers down here. I find either way has worked easy. Sometimes for me, it's just easier to pack everything and know that I have it ready to go so I don't have to worry about it when we get on our trip and just enjoy. Um, but if you're already planning on going to the grocery store because there's things you're gonna need or food-wise or stuff like that, it might be something to consider to not pack all those diapers and wipes and pick them up on at your destination. Next, let's talk about feeding in the car because I feel like that was one thing that was super daunting to me, especially when our girls were super little and they were eating every two hours. It was <laughs> an adventure for sure. So we've tried a couple different methods with how we do bottles and things like that in the car. And so I'll walk you through how we do it. Something we like to do a box of snacks and food and we also like to put a fold up picnic blanket in here. We have found that anytime we stop we usually like to just stretch out and get some fresh air and so having a fold up picnic blanket that we can just put on the side of a gas station grass or wherever we're at is super handy to have and then it's nice to have snacks in here for parents as well as we like to do the little food pouches for our girls when we're traveling they also do really good with triscuits and crackers and that kind of stuff which is easy to have and that they can have in their car seat that makes it easy when you're doing milk feedings that is another ball game when our girls were super little what i like to do is we would carry a second box and it would just be for bottles so what I would do is put the formula right here and then I would have water bottles right here and then I would have the bottles right here and I would also put extra water bottles underneath all the seats in the car so we would have spare water in case anything happened or we were on the road longer than anticipated and we also put a lot of water underneath the seats because our dog gets super thirsty. So we like to have lots of water bottles ready to go. Now that our girls are on whole milk, what we do is a cooler 
we pack up all our bottles and we fill them up with milk so they are ready to go and put them in here so all we have to do is just grab the bottle out with milk and normally if our girls were only eating six ounces or so we would fill up the whole thing and then any extras we just put back in here when we travel, I used to bring our boon drying rack and all of that. Now I just bring a towel and we hand wash everything. And then I just bring our dish soap and that's all. So yeah, no need to bring a drying rack or anything. A towel does great. And if you have twins, these Komotomo bottles are amazing. I love it because they have two different bottle caps. So if your baby's on different formulas or things like that, when you have multiples, it's nice to be able to know whose bottle is who. If your babies are infants and really small, the recommended time that I've heard for driving is stopping every two hours so they can get out of their car seats and stretch, which actually works out really great when you have infants because they are ready, they're hungry and they're eating every two hours and so you've gotta take them out to burp them anyways. We would usually stop at you know gas stations or parks or wherever we could and stop every two hours. Now that our girls are almost a year and a half, we usually will go about three to four hours before we stop. Here's Jake, he's hey. gonna come join. <laughs> if we have a 10 hour road trip, we typically stop about two times and we try to plan our road trips according to like our eating schedule and that seemed to work out really great for us yeah. a lot of people like to leave at the you know at bedtime and drive the night through we have tried that once <laughs> and it wasn't successful well we just got in at like 2 a.m and we were hammered and so tired and the trying next to get day. the girls back to bed and yeah no, it was rough yeah because we had to once we got there we had to set up the pack and plays and it was and the girls woke up when we got there so they were up for like two hours in the middle of the night and it was just a lot for us and so we found we prefer leaving earlier in the morning so we've done it when we've left at when they wake up and we've also woken our girls up to get on the road what did you prefer i think i preferred waking the girls up to get on the road yeah i did too so this last time we woke our girls up at 7 a.m they normally wake up around 8 or 9 so they slept for a little bit in the car and then we had breakfast and did all of that in the car and they did really great and, and by the so time we got to lunch it was lunch time so depending on how old your kids are is how often you're going to need to stop and every kid's different and so you got to do what works best for you and your family we found our girls really do good with that three to four time gap and so and also with our dog as well he needs to get out and play and, and explore too so yeah that's yeah all. traveling with a dog is a whole nother story but that's an adventure as well but luckily our dog does really good in the car which we're grateful for because we love having him come around with us yeah, we found though, if you have a super anxious dog, sometimes our dog gets really anxious. We did find out there are kinds of medications and things that you can get to help your dog if they have anxiety in the car and things like that. Um, but yeah, those pets need to get out of for a few hours as well and get those wiggles out too. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna finish packing and we're gonna take you through how we set up the car. The girls are in bed and so I'm just doing uh, some last minute laundry and we're actually gonna be able to start loading up the car uh, with as much as we can and getting everything that we need for the morning ready to go. We started to pile up the things that get to go in the car right here. And so I'm just gonna start puzzle piecing it together. This is the start. We've got Zeke's seat back here. We're gonna have the two seats for the girls. Well, Zeke's back here, but I can also sit back here too with him. And then our suitcases and stuff goes here. And then we leave the front seat open for me as well. And then, yeah, Kelsey might drive him most of the way. And I'll be back here with the girls, so. We'll just need to make sure things are accessible between these front seats. It's the morning of our road trip. We're heading out. I'm just packing up our last minute bag, grabbing toiletries, and all of those last minute stuff that's gonna go in here. Davy's helping me, she's such a big help. We're getting the girls all ready. Scout, Davy, looking so cute. Mm -hmm. Even if we wake them up, we like to give them a fresh set of clothes so we're ready to go for any stops and adventures. We got blankets, stuffed animals, water bottles. We are almost ready to go. Scout, is that Ziki's leash? Thanks for bringing that. Oh, and here comes Davy. Davy, what are you bringing? A leaf. A leaf. Thanks for helping. We like to load water bottles up underneath the seat so we have plenty of extras. 
Got our food packed. We're all loaded up and here we go. Getting started. So we like to always start our road trip with a prayer. So I'll be doing that real quick since Kelsey's driving. And then, uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of food here to feed the girls some breakfast. And we'll just start eating some breakfast. This will be fun. Okay, we got Davy napping. Scout's just finishing her milk. She's gonna be able to fall asleep too. Two hours in. Two hours in. Girls have been napping most of this time. Zeke has been napping in the back. Um, and I think we're gonna we're gonna stop and get some food and gas and diaper changes and a park all in Las Vegas. That's kind of our goal we're shooting for. We try to do about a three hour drive before we take a break. <laughs> oh, Davy, is your doggy playing the piano? That's cute. has the best seat in the house. So cozy back here, huh bud? Good boy, good boy. And Scout is still sleeping. We just made it to Las Vegas and we're filling up with gas. Usually when we stop, we try to get everything done in one shot. When we stop for gas, Jake and I will take turns and run into the bathroom and then we'll go through a drive-through and pick up food and then we try and find a park, find a park. to go hang out and play in. And if it's a long road trip, we will just keep our food in the car and we'll go play at the park and then eat in the car. And if it's a short road trip, we'll take the food out and play and have like a picnic and stuff. So just depends on our time schedule and things like that. Today's road trip is 10 hours long. We usually will do two stops that are about an hour-ish long. And so it ends up being about a 12 hour trip. We're on schedule so far, but who knows? We'll see how the rest of the day goes. Look at these cuties back here. All being such angels. Hi cuties. Hi. <laughs> Are we at the drive through Yeah, just at Taco Bell. Zeke wanted to put his head out the window. <laughs> Party Taco Bell. Hi. <laughs> How awesome is this? The park has, or the playground has gates around it. Dreamy. Scout, did you find a pine cone? Come on down, Scouty. <laughs> Woohoo. Diaper changes in the car. We have our caddy already, and then we literally just change diapers on the front seat. Diaper changing master right there. Ooh. Davey, your turn. Davey's, turn. Davey's getting a new outfit change, and it's her puppy dog outfit. Yeah. Then we just put the dirty clothes in the little Arm & Hammer bags that I showed earlier, and then tied in a knot, and then it makes it so it's these clothes aren't smelly and does it makes it so the car doesn't rake. Okay, we got Davy eating a yummy nacho fry. Yum. Good job, Scout. How was that? Scout being such a big girl with her burrito. Yum. Yeah, that's your burrito. Bean and cheese. Yeah, Davy's next. Ooh. Oh, stinky. Hey, I need are you, those. Are you yoinking all the supplies? I need those. When it's chilly out, we like to make sure to turn the car on and blast the heater when we're doing diaper changes <laughs> to make sure we don't get cold buns. 
she puts down a window. Scout, are you happy to be home? Sneaky, your backyard! Scout, is this so exciting? <laughs> the best part about coming home is packages! Ooh! Oh, that's so beautiful. Hi, Davey. Oh, you got a book out? Does it have puppies in the book? <laughs> that's new. I like that. That's cute. Oh, did you find a bunny? Oh, it's a little bunny. Come here. Give <laughs> daddy some love. Oh, this is the best me. being back home. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for all of our tips and tricks for road trips with toddlers. <laughs> we wrote a couple more of our tips that we didn't get a squeeze into the video into a blog post. And I'm going to link it below and it will also have a recap of all of these as well. So everything is in one spot. So if you missed anything, check out our blog, KelseyBang.com, and it will have all of that there. <laughs> That was a sweet move, Davey. Time, time, time to get these girls to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's way past their bedtime. It's 8 p.m. and they normally go to bed at, well, it was 6, six. and then on our trip we turned this into 7 p.m., so 7-ish. 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.